Hi students of grade 2, I welcome you to the class of Katha history and we will continue learning about ancient crafts. Our objectives for today are to revise previously learned concepts, to identify details about gold manufacturing and to recognize Al Sadu industry. Let's recap what we've already learned so far. In the first week, we learned about ancient homes. The meaning of ancient is old. We also learned about shipbuilding industry. We learned about pearl diving. And last week, we learned a little about fishing. Let's have a look at the pictures. Last week, you all enjoyed making a paper boat in class. You remember that? And we also wrote names on these boats. So the names of the ships to recall are Sambuk, please repeat after me, Sambuk, Albatil, Aljalbut. The names of the fish that we learnt about are Greasy Grouper, Narrow Barred Spanish mackerel narrow barred spanish mackerel and the one who makes the boats the manufacturer what is he called children very good he is al kalaf let's move on so today we will learn about gold manufacturing so tell me students, do you know what is gold? Well, you must have seen your mothers with some jewellery that you see in the picture here. Let's read. Gold manufacturing and formation is an ancient craft that had been manufactured simple tools and had various shapes. Our country pays attention to such crafts so as to preserve Qatar's heritage. Look at the pictures and identify them. So the first picture, it's a handmade golden pendant and it's called Al Murta Esha. I'll repeat, it's Al Murta Esha. And this is how goldsmiths used to work in the past. So I will show you some more jewelry. The first one is Tasa, it's a beret. The second one is Madeid. And the third one is Fist Bracelet. Have a look at these images. The first one is Tasa. Then you see bangles like things, they are called Madeid. And the last one is worn on hands by women of our houses. It's known as a Fist Bracelet. Let's connect it to English. What is fist? Yes, you see it in the picture there. Sometimes we give each other a fist pump, correct? And then, what is a goldsmith? Or rather, who is a goldsmith? A goldsmith is a metal worker who specializes in working with gold and other precious metals. Let's move on, children. Look at this lovely girl in a beautiful outfit. Let's find out more about it. We are going to read page number 17. My grandmother said I was skillful at Al Sadu weaving, which is a simple craft involving weaving goat hair tents and carpets from sheep and hair of camels. This craft still exists on a small scale and is not widespread. There was also the craft of handmade embroidery which uses golden and silver zari yarns such as boknik, a veil, al nashal gown for female garments and bisht for males. I will now show you images. So the male garment is called bisht and the female garment is called al nashal gown. I'm sure you know this, right? What a lovely color of this Al Nashal gown. 
Now let's practice. These are pictures of some ancient crafts and modern professions. Try to identify them and write their names. So what do you see in the first picture? Very good. It is aviation. So there are two pilots who are trying to fly an airplane. What about the second picture? What do you see? There is an old man and he is trying to, he is in water with a little basket. Very good. He has gone for pearl diving. What about the third image? It's called Al Sadu weaving. Now next you see there is, these are professions, okay? There is a teacher. Next you see an engineer. And finally you see a goldsmith, okay? Thank you so much for listening for today's class and I wish you a fantastic day ahead. I want you to take care of yourselves and please let me tell you once again your feelings matter. So when you are in class talk to us, let us know how you are, how you are enjoying Qatar history and also you can write to us and tell us in the e-learning portal. That's all for today. Feel free to pause the video at any time to understand the lesson better. I wish you a fantastic day ahead.